Alright, what is happening, everybody? So, I'm just testing this out. I bought the uh, Pixel Remaster of Final Fantasy 1. Uh, after... Uh, I watched a little bit of uh, playthroughs of it. It's gotten mixed opinions, but... Here's the reason why I bought this. Um, I wanted to speedrun the uh, PS1 version. And I was going to try and find a way to do that. And then, uh, the PS1 and the uh, Dawn of, uh, not Dawn of Souls, uh, Final Fantasy Origins, right? I'm um, excited about the PS3. Playing on the PS3. I don't have my disc for Final Fantasy Origins. I don't know where it went. Lost it. So I'm like, alright, well, I don't want to speedrun Final Fantasy NES, because that requires step routing and stuff. I don't want to have to deal with that, so I want, I'm like, alright. Let me buy the Pixel Remaster, speedrun that. I'll be able to pioneer speedrunning it and stuff like that. But I'm also going to play it uh, blind, I guess. Uh, yeah. And I heard pretty mixed opinions about this game. Uh, and I can see right now why these mixed opinions exist. This font is god awful. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> Dude, whose idea was it? Oh my god. Alright, whatever. It's fine. It's all good. Let's see what extras are here. Oh, music player gallery. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this now. I may as well play this for a little bit. Uh, this is the last video you're gonna see in my current crowded apartment before I move into my new uncrowded apartment, which is going to happen tomorrow. Let's see. The oh, okay. So this is a original. Uh, Stuff from there. Okay, that's cool. Where's the ghost? Yeah. Anaconda. Yeah. Uh, cool. Okay, so that's a nice gallery. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and see what this is all about. Oh, it doesn't have a styre. Huh. Oh, music player. Uh, music player. Cool. All right. Options. Config. Display. Window. That's fine. Language. It's got a lot of language. <laughs> Play it in any language. It's crazy. Back and press and hold that B for button. Menu is Y and uh, map and auto bat and auto battle. Uh, toggle is X. Okay, cool. And it's keyboard settings too. I don't really care about that. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, and it has Warrior Thief White and Black Mage uh, as like the default thing. Okay, right on. Oh, that's funny. It has suggested names. <laughs> what? Glitz. Morgan, Eric, Violet, what the fuck? Claire? That's a chick's name. Well, I guess I have a chick who's a warrior. Yeah. Robin's also a chick's name. Ray is a chick's name. That's my mom's middle name, by the way. Frank with an E. It's gotta have an E. Why does it keep having, like, ruckus? Morgan could be a dude's or a chick's name. Yeah. Korad. <laughs> That's funny, it has suggested names. That's the same one here. Oh, whatever. Oh, uh, let's see. Half width character? What? So I can put like. Whatever. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Oh, here, let me do this. So last time I'm gonna have to do this bullshit. Cause I'll be able to play in the living room. Yeah, oh, actually, you know what? I wanna see. No, no, that's fine. I'm gonna put Final Fantasy 9 names. Of course. 
This may or may not be the, the party I use when I actually play this live on Monday. It's on Monday. Eight hours. Eight hours of power on Monday. If I have internet, if I have Wi-Fi in the new apartment, uh, cause, I don't know, my new apartment may not have Wi-Fi. That'll suck. Here you go. I love it. I do want to see some stuff here. So, I'm assuming, I guess I can talk about the history while this is going on. So. This is taken from the GBA version, I know that for a fact. Final Fantasy has gone through, Final Fantasy 1 has gone through like over 9,000 different ports, okay? So, of course they have the NES one, which has bugs all over it. Really difficult. Uh, you don't level really, you don't, you level at a really slow pace, and stuff like that. But then, they made Wonder Swan, that was in Japan over And it made like a. I think the same kind of difficulty. And then 03 was when Origin was released for the PS1. And it had an easy mode. The game had an easy mode where uh, stuff costs a lot less money. Um, and it took a lot less XP to level and stuff like that. And then, they, and then a year after that, they made uh, Dawn of Souls. Uh, Dawn of Souls, the game became super easy. Also in Origins, uh, the uh, Four Fiends had twice as many hit points as they did in the original Final Fantasy 1. Which actually makes the normal mode of uh, Origins like the most difficult version because fights against uh, the uh, Four Fiends were a war of attrition in that game. But all the spells worked too and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, talk about which spells were bugged as I encounter them in this part. Um, but Dawn of Souls, they gave the fiends way more, more even more hit points. Uh, but leveling was super fast. They took away spell charges for levels, for spell levels. And uh, they also, uh, what's it called? And they replaced it with a uh, regular MP. You're also able to get Phoenix Downs and uh, Ethers and other items like that, uh, which you were not able to use in Origins or in the OG Final Fantasy 1. Uh, yeah. Regular in NES Final Fantasy 1, the only way you could resolve up five players was with Life or Life 2 spells, and only Red, only red Wizards and White Mages and White Wizards could use those. So, yeah. And only the Red Wizard could use uh, what's called, um, well, I guess I'll progress the plot first. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, he only had like a few charges to use the ice spells. It's really crazy. Here they are! Well, they, they actually made the, uh... Oh, bro, we just showed you the damn crystals! Garnet can go res rescue herself. Huh. Cool. Yeah, they added this to the uh, Origins version. But anyways, uh, in the in the port set came after Dawn of Souls. They used pretty much the Dawn of Souls engine, which uh, I'll show you what I mean. So but first, we need to. Uh, okay. oh, are you kidding? Oh. You can't, you can't, uh, change the color of the window. That sucks. 
Well, I guess I wanted to make it like original Final Fantasy, but it's all blue. Ugh. Yeah, so. In the original, Warriors had a little bit more accuracy. They started with a lot more accuracy than just 10. With every 32 points of accuracy, you gain another hit. So, in starting with Dawn of Souls, they kept all the base stats in uh, Origins the same. In Dawn of Souls, they decided to make thieves like a glass cannon of sorts. So, they gave him, oh, they gave him way more uh, accuracy in the uh, GBA version, I believe. GBA version, they already gave the, they gave the thief like 40 accuracy, which like, you're able to plan two hits immediately. So they didn't do that with the uh, thieves. Oh yeah, okay. That, that was this was something that was uh, another thing that was changed in um, Dawn of Souls is that you uh, had knives. Everyone came with knives <laughs> and uh, clothes too. Everyone came pre-equipped. You get 500 gold instead of 400 to start. Cool. Yeah, you can drop spells. Uh, that start with, uh, I believe with, uh, mm, Origins, I'm not really sure. Cool. Oh, the White Mage gets a little bit more, uh, hit points. Quick save option, cool. Can't save any. In the GBA versions, everything after that, you're able to save wherever you want it. Uh, you can't do that here. So, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and do some stuff here. That's right. Oh. Alright, whatever. I'm not gonna, like, go ahead and talk to anyone here. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Speak through here. What we'll do is, uh, I will, uh... I'm gonna play it live tomorrow. Or, uh, in... on Monday. I'm gonna play it for real on Monday for a lot longer. I'll I'll mess with anything here. But for now, let's go ahead and just uh, do this. want the staff instead. Oh, look at three percent evasion. Yeah, so the thief has a lot less eva uh, evasion, uh, accuracy in this version. GBA version, you had like 38, like right out of the gate, which is crazy. Actually made knives pretty useful in the uh, Dawn of Souls version, but I'm not even gonna get a hammer for the. Uh... That oh. Do you like the music in this? Pretty decent. There. Yeah. The warrior's attack power is way higher in the original. Because the way it calculated uh, attack power, your innate, or your whatever, innate. Your uh, original attack power, unarmed attack power in the original, was that it would. Oh, I can equip right here. Speed. Was that it took your strength and divided it by two. 
don't know what that is. I guess. Oh, yeah, so different. Oh, okay, start toggles the map. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I don't need the damn map. I will. Alright. Another thing I want to see. So, in the original Final Fantasy, spells. Uh, their effectiveness, or how much damage they did or recovered, uh, was completely random. It was just a range. And that range got, uh, the max of that range got bigger if an enemy was weak to a certain element. Uh, it was like that with Origins as well. And then with Dawn of Souls, they said, oh, you know what, the, uh, a, uh, player's, uh, intelligence stat should determine how much damage a spell does. So, I'm gonna see if it's like that in this game as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, the focus spell was bugged in the original. Didn't do anything. Uh, this game, I don't know if it does that or not. Maybe, who knows. Sleep is still good. Uh, the sleep uh, stats effect in Final Fantasy 1 yeah, it just makes you lose a turn, you just lose a turn. So, it's pretty cool, I guess. Uh, Protect was bugged in the original, in the NES version, didn't do anything. Uh, but Blink is, was also, was really good in the original, so. I'm just gonna get Kieran Dia, so. Oh yeah, whoa, you can walk diagonally in this game. I didn't know that, that's pretty sweet. I kinda wish that was just an option though. Same kind of music as the uh, PS1 version. Alright, here we go. Oh, you can defend in this one! Oh! That is cool! Pretty sure there's auto that. Whoa, wait. Huh. Thief can land two hits uh, right out of the gate. So how is it how is it calculated that? That's really weird. More accurate in this game, no that for Huh, so the thief is a glass cannon game, and that they can land a lot more hits. Whoa! That is a lot of XP! Holy Christ! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. It doesn't display how much XP everyone gets. You have to actually do math for that. So it was 54 divided by 4. Oh, that's kind of really stupid. One more XP in the next level. Really? Really, game? Okay, that kind of sucks about this game. Oh, you know what? It's not 24 XP, it's, it was 6 per enemy. Cool. Good. I like how this level is the stack. Like, really? VV. In one hit point. Still has the same quote from uh, the NES one. <laughs> I like that. And you got boss music. 
cool. Oh, I forgot to heal, uh, Simon. Oops. Yeah. Let's see what Thunder. Let's see if it does a lot of damage. Like, I think it's gonna. Whoa! Yeah. Awesome damage. Here. Good damage, too. Oh, I ran out of charges. Six hit points. My god. I can tell the Black Mage ain't gonna have. That was one thing about the, uh, the NES uh, Final Fantasy 1 that really separated it and made it better than the other ones. As well as, uh, we'll say, the uh, Donald's uh, the Dom Souls, uh, Origins. Is that. Your players would have a strong hit point level and then a weak hit point level. And usually it would alternate between the two. Uh, with Warriors, it just kept on until like level, I think, 10 or 11. Uh, but with everyone else, and with Thieves also. But with everyone else, uh, they would um, alternate between strong and weak levels. Uh, looks like it's not the case in this version, which is kind of weak. It kind of sucked. Again, when I play this on Monday for real, I'm gonna. Pro I'm not gonna speed through the text here, but as of now. But... Yeah, nah, he ain't. He ain't gonna marry all four of us, babe. Of course. I got in up before I do anything else now. Oh, that's right, the cutscene where they build the bridge. I actually want to get as far as the ship because I want to see if they have the uh, puzzle game in this. So that's going to be that's a major component in the uh, speedrun of the. Uh, of the. Uh, of the ports of this game. I was watching Dragon Dark. Uh, speedrun the uh, Origins version of it. Does it in about two, a little bit under three hours. And he plays the puzzle game. And uh, when, you, when you do the puzzle game in this, or in the other ports, uh, you get a lot of money if you win the first uh, prize. Do it under like two minutes. Original, you only get 400 bucks, but you get 10,000 in the in this in the other ports. So, oh, that's cool. So they have the uh, what's called they got the uh, beginners hall. No. Oh, okay. So we can't. Okay, that's fine. That's gonna be weird. I'm actually so it's no for that. It's kind of dumb. So wait, maybe it's like. Maybe it's every 16 evasion or uh, accuracy you you get an additional hit. Hit. Nice. I got some potions I need. Whoa! They sell a lot of stuff. 
Oh, ether is in, ether is in, restore one charge for each magic level. Oh my god! That's crazy! Three hit points up for potion. Cool. I'll buy five of them. We need any of this. You don't, even, you don't ever get silenced in this game. Why is why do they sell this in the video? And darkness is what's bugged in the original. Uh, don't know how it is in the other ones. No one really blinds you in this game either. I'm tense to that. Okay, cool. Oh, cottages is full restores. The tents are like cottages in the original. Okay, sweet. And bags just recover 38 hit points probably for everybody. Which is fine. So I'm level 3 right now, alright? Whoa! Oh, oh, the map gets bigger here. Look. Well, that's kind of interesting. See this. You can't skip it. That's unfortunate. I was watching a, a channel called 48 Production. And they were like really dig they were, they were just like and they did not like this uh this uh port. I'm eh, it's Matt. I mean, yeah, it's nice to have. I mean, you know, that's something. If I had my copy of uh, Final Fantasy Origin, I wouldn't even bother with this. But, I figured. I may as well. But, we're gonna see if I can play the puzzle game. Because if I can't. See what I can do. I want to be like the very first speedrun this if possible. Very very happy that we're gonna be leaving this apartment. Oh wow! I'm also trying to test the. Uh, audio levels here and see if it's better or worse. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, I got an achievement for it. Uh oh. Ah, oh, no. I remember these enemies being really, really mean. I hear defend. I like how you can defend in this game. That's pretty cool. I do like how the thief is a, uh... I'm not gonna put to do that right now. A wizard. Uh, yeah. Or a mono. Nice. So thieves are still a glass cannon in this. As I'd say, can produce a lot of damage, but they get their asses beaten down to the ground. Wow! Oh, cool. Love it. Sweet. Hey, if you got a uh, strong level. Good. Let me go and heal him. Oh, man. I do remember the worms being uh, weak to fire, so let me go ahead and take them out. Maybe. Oh, cool! Steiner has an, uh, an additional hit as well. Wow! That did a ton of damage. Oh, I forgot about uh, auto target. Yeah, that's right. The original NES version uh, did not have auto target, so if you were dumb enough to. Attack an enemy and then it went. Then it got killed, and 
you you would attack the corpse, pretty much. Yeah. So let's see, so... So okay, I'm guessing with 12 accuracy, so every- so I guess... A mul- so if- let's see if the accuracy is like a multiple of 12, then it's probably one more bit. first before I uh, fight the pirates. That sprite looks familiar. Oh, that sprite's from, uh... Well, I, don't know, I guess it could be from uh, Saga 2. Kinda. Which money have I got? Yeah, I don't have a lot of money yet. Well, we'll do something about that. Fight pirates. Put him to sleep, will prevent him all from taking actions and be able to just take him out. It's a speedrun strat and it's a casual one. I tend to do a lot more, more, more damage in uh, the original ones. Oh, it doesn't show which ones are asleep or not. It's kind of weird. I kind of wish they would have... A th Whoa! They have a lot more damage. They have a lot more hit points in this. Back in the original versions, they, uh, the uh, pirates had six hit points apiece, so it was like you're fighting six, nine goblins. Here, not so much. Here they have a little bit more. And you do a little more damage, too. I mean... Nothing we can't handle, but... Oh, I gotta let the shield out of it. Sweet! Got done. Yeah, if you can give me a ship. Nice. I always thought it'd be cool if you fought the captain too. Because you can fight random encounters, uh, random pirate encounters in the ocean. Who are, or who are like way stronger than the uh, pirates. And I'd be like, yo, it'd be great if you said, oh, you got my crew, cool, but can you, can you be able to take me down? Then you fight him. Seeing if there's anything different here. No, it's all the same stuff. Cool. So magic. Oh yeah, I have a spell that cures darkness. Ha! Huh. I forget what that was. Um, in the original. I don't remember at all. I know it wasn't blind enough. Or silence didn't never did, did anything in this game. Invis is actually pretty good, and so of course is no shot. Especially in the original. So the most broken spell in the entire game. Temper or steel in the other games. So, in the original, in the NES version, this spell was bugged, and that sucked. Because, if your player had multiple hits, you'd be able to, you, can, you can spam this, and it'll just destroy every enemy ever. Uh, and that's how you pretty much play the uh, Origins and Dawn of Souls versions. Uh, in the original, the spell does nothing, it's bugged. And of course, Darkness, uh, in the originals, um, was an empty status effect that didn't do anything to any players or enemies, so you won't buy that either. And Blizzard actually is really, really powerful. So yeah, 
I'm gonna go buy anything that I want, because intelligence levels are... I'm doing enough damage outputs with that, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna see something here. I don't wanna buy that for the you know, warrior. I actually wanna get this for the warrior instead of this. Uh, I wanna get the scimitar for the uh, thief. See. Oh, wait, what? Why, yeah, why is Zachary's. Why is Zachary's go up by two? It's supposed to go up by five. So this is ten accuracy. Yeah, whatever. I don't like how it has all of these things you can sell and buy here. So the reason I'm going to get the axe instead of the broadsword, actually I'm probably not going to get any of that. Is because I already have two hits, so I don't even need to worry about getting the short sword, which is the more accurate weapon. Okay, so let's confirm and cancel 55 times, let's see what happens. Nice. You can play 15 puzzle. Alright, cool. Thank you. 
Damn it. I messed it up so badly. Ugh, what have I done? Ah. Anything for it. Wow, that sucks. That really, really, really sucks. So we're gonna have to have a new strat for the uh, speed run with this. That's bogus. Maybe a grind, maybe a big grinding session. Uh, probably. Yeah, that's. That ain't right. Soggins. <laughs> uh, we run. Oh no wait, no, I'm multiple hits. Easy to fight. I mean they ain't worth shit. Oh man. Young killed. Oh, so it looks like the enemies have their original hit points. Their, their hit points from the original games. And the Sahuggins aren't nearly as uh They don't have nearly the levels of evasion that they uh, did in the original, which is very nice. In the original, they were a pain in the ass. Got an achievement, I don't know why. It's probably getting the ship. Ha, ah, these are the guys I want to fight. The Buccaneers give me a lot of XP. What you could do, what you could do in the original, in the NES version, is uh Is uh, you can save for you can do a hard reset and fight nothing but buccaneers. And you can money grind that way. Don't think you can do that in this game. <laughs> Look at that XP. So now we're gonna see. Yo, we are running from this. Get the hell out of there, everybody. If I get killed, okay. Nice. Whoa. Head back over here and up. So that really sucks, you can't get money from finishing the uh, puzzle game. Damn. I wasn't really counting on that. I can fight this. Oh, it's Still kind of sucks to. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. So it's every twelve. Every twelve. Uh. Oh, Asian, every twelve. They play more than I thought. Really? Enemies start running away. That's bullshit. Field research basin. That's an achievement. That's weird. So you get a hit every 12 uh, accuracy. Cool. Uh, 
has five damage. So thieves are glass cannons, and then I don't want the thieves most. If I, if I speed run this, I'm gonna have thieves. Like crazy. Maybe a warrior, two thieves, and a red mage. Or a warrior, thief, red mage, red mage. Let's go to Elf, Elf and Pine. Let's see if we can go right on that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Which means... I don't know about that. Oh, you can't buy the Mithril Sword, that's right. Uh, in the Origins version of this game, they kept the Mithril Sword here in uh, Elfenheim. But, uh, starting with the Dawn of Souls version, they took away the Mithril Sword here. The Mithril Sword is pretty much... It's... Like, the, warriors, the Warrior and the Red Mage's weapon of choice for a very long time. Uh, they don't have that here, though, which is kind of weak. That really sucks. And it took off an attack power point from the uh, Saber, too, apparently. At 14 attack in the original. Right, do I get the dagger for that Black Mage? No. Oh, wait! No, it's fine, because uh, you can use the uh, Steel or the uh, Temper spell. I was going to buy a Saber for the uh, Warrior, but yeah, I promise. You don't want to buy iron uh, helmet or wooden helmet and the iron shield. Yeah. It did be good for a few seconds. <laughs> Copper arm, yeah, four defense power. Oh. No, I'm not gonna get the iron iron home iron army don't need. I'm playing defense anyways. Okay. So that kinda sucks, but so weird how you can move diagonally in this. <laughs> There's a hog and one big eye. Wait, what? The big eye ran away and... They couldn't run away? So they wasted their turn. By trying to run away and failing. That's funny how... Enemies can... Usually when enemies run away in RPGs, it's like, alright, well, they done ran away, what can you do about it? Oh, what am I going here for? I don't need to go here. Three hits already for the thief. Heh, <laughs> that's 
crazy. Feels good to play this because I've already I've got caught up in all my work today. Finished early. He's got the clip that's okay though. Nice, good. Good. Not good. Alright. Take him out easily. That sucks, you don't get anything from doing the, bit, the puzzle game. Damn. I got potion out of that, sweet. Gotta have potions. Oh, I don't have any. Okay. Like how there's a defend command in this. I like that. I like that a lot. Whoa! Must have critted. I guess you can't really tell if you got critted or not. I'm in up here. I'm not gonna get too far into this. I'm probably gonna stop after an hour of playing. Move! Buy some weapons, jerk. So see what I would sometimes do in the original is I would uh I would buy a scimitar for the uh, warrior instead of a broadsword because it's a little bit less money, and the uh, I'd just get two hits with the scimitar and do practically the same amount of damage. Or I'd get a battle axe for extra damage. Once I had, once I knew I had two hits with a 5% accuracy weapon, this way I could do that, but whatever. That's, that's weird. Oh, so the thief can now have the uh, saber and get some more damage that way too. Actually, I want to do this. Let me go ahead and buy. No, I'm not going to do that. I was going to get all the way out to Astos, but nah. Still, that sucks. You don't get anything from doing the uh, uh, puzzle game. Oh, cool. Champion. Yes. Boom. There we go. Wow. That's some XP and money right there, buddy. So I heard that this version does not have the uh, bonus stuff like in Dawn of Souls, and judging from what I saw, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, they play Dawn of Souls. There's like a cave on the way to uh, the Temple of Fiends, and uh, it was not there when I played when I just checked this game out. Nice, there's another pin. Three fifty. Nice. I tried to run away. Emmys are a lot stronger in this game. But you have a defend command, so it's really like you gotta be responsible for that. Keep an eye on your hit points. Nice. Let's see here. 
18% accuracy there. 30%. Oh my god. Whoa! Yeah, so the thief is a glass cannon in this game. Oh. Look at this, though. Usually you get your uh, level 4 magic, your first level 4 magic charge at level 8 in this game. Or whatever. In the originals? Not in this. Oh, shit. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see if I could stack, uh... Oh, why? I didn't do that one. Should've went back to the local. Should've bought the, uh... Should've bought, um... Temper. Oh, why? I didn't do that. Stack it on my thief and have the thief do ridiculous damage. I can do that now with everyone defending. Oh my god, that's a perfect strat then. Well, not a perfect one, but it's a it's a strat. For bosses, you put the thief in the bottom, have everyone defend, have uh yeah, have your warrior be a glass uh a glass cannon, a uh, tank. And spam uh Temper on the uh, thief until you can do ridiculous damage in 69. Right? And then, uh, take it that way. That way. Ah, God, that really. I might just do. I could still do that. I could still do two warriors, two red mages, and a thief. Alright, yeah, we're good. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Great, the thief is paralyzed. Okay. Let's try that again. Yeah, perfect. This is perfect. Okay.
Nice! teaser of this game. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Uh, so Monday, I'm either going to, uh, record, like, just, like, a full... I'm gonna record either way. If I don't have Wi-Fi, I will pre-record, like, today. But, uh, if I do have Wi-Fi, I will probably set the, uh, stream to start at probably seven in the evening that's when i'm gonna get done with my uh my workout and i'll have the whole night and yeah it'll be like just a big celebration you know be really cool uh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll eat and stuff i'll probably have a couple drinks uh and play this I'll probably do some I'm do some Mega Man 3 PBs and then uh, PB attempts. Trying to uh, try and get a Mega Man 3 PB attempt, absolutely. And that'll be that. And yeah, that's gonna be some good times. We'll do a really big stream too. I'll spend like the whole night doing it. Alrighty. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next stream. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.